I'm starting to think I might have gone too far with this. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. And to answer that question, we have to go back. Way back. After transforming the end in episode 6, I wanted to do the same with the portal. Trouble is, it's 100 blocks underground. I've got a lot of digging ahead of me, don't I? Now, my stronghold is buried under this incredibly ugly extreme hills biome, so we are going to need to find a new one. How far out is this stronghold? I've been searching for like 15 minutes. It's here. It's here. Now we play my favorite game called Walk Around the Stronghold for 30 Minutes Trying to Find the Portal. 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 <gasps> yes! Oh, I thought I heard silverfish. Get out of here. And your whole family's dead. Unlucky. That genuinely only took about two minutes. I'm going to stop complaining about things now. Now, first things first, I'm going to set up a temporary nether portal in here so that we can travel back to the base to get materials. So these coordinates here are the very center of the end portal. So if I now dig down on this exact spot, we should hit the center. Okay, my calculations were actually correct. That's a nice change of pace. Going to mark the center with some blue wool. And now I'm going to build some guidelines for a huge circle around the center point. Most people who dig a giant hole go with a square, but circles are my favorite shape, so we're going to go with one of those instead. Before starting this project, I actually called a bunch of Minecraft YouTubers to see if they'd agree with me on the whole circles versus squares thing, and here's what they said. Circles suck. Squares are way better than circles. Circles don't even have any corners. Oh, easily squares. And to be honest, circles are kind of bad. Triangles. Okay, well, ignoring Chazza, every single one of them was in full support of squares. And that is why we need to prove them all wrong. If they're not convinced by the end of this video that circles are the superior shape, I honestly don't know what more I can do. So I've got the general area of the circle mapped out, but before we can go any further, it's time for a quick bit of deforestation. We're also going to start a lovely forest fire just to speed up efficiency a bit. I'm starting to realize building these guidelines out of wool was probably a horrible mistake, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll worry about it later. And look how much faster this is than doing some annoying manual labor. Oh, sorry, mate. Um... You know what? We'll, we'll find a home for you. Nobody tell him we're not actually doing that. Oh, my flint and steel is taking some damage. What I'm going to do to stop all the wool from being destroyed is to put a piece of stone at each end so that even if all this burns, we still have the final block at the end to retrace our steps. Guys, I think this tree listened to my mixtape. Always remember to take a nice nap after a hard day's work. This guy's cosplaying as the forest. So far, so good. The ecosystem is definitely being destroyed at a rapid rate. My enchanted flint and steel has one durability left. Bye. I accidentally broke this, I'd be so annoyed. Let's get this fixed up. Probably would be a lot more ethical to chop this forest down, wouldn't it? Well, it's too late, as they say. Once you start your forest fire, you, you gotta live with your forest fire. I made that up. No one says that. Wait, no, I was zoned out. Rest in peace, Timothy. My favorite flint and steel. The forest fire can wait. I need a new Timothy. Timothy 2 has been born. Well, not really born. He's an inanimate flint and steel, but... Besides the point, we're not going to focus on that. You're in good hands though, Timothy. I won't let anything happen to you. R.I.P. Timothy 2. He was gone too soon. <clears throat> I'm a horrible person. The area is pretty much cleared out anyway, so now I'm going to go through with my axe and clean up all the remaining trees. And now we can start the process of moving a million metric tons of dirt. I feel like this video is going to come out in the year 2030. Six thousand and after about five minutes i've determined that manual labor sucks we're going to be using tnt flying machines instead and i can't see anything going wrong with that idea we have the guidelines to show the general area of the circle but now let's build the outline of the circle itself so the perimeter of the circle is all complete and you might be wondering, Mosey, what's all this wood about? What it's about is I ran out of blue wool. Although before we can start work blowing up all this terrain, we first need to get rid of this hill and this hill. Oh yeah, and this hill too. Wait a minute. Wouldn't it be faster just to blow all this up? I'll be right back. Just gonna AFK my creep farm for no particular reason. Let's make ourselves some of this and make our way back through the nether. Can you tell your parents to chill? Do it. <laughs> now, where am I going to find an orphanage? And we're back. I do not have a license to... Oh! Oh! Okay. That actually worked really well, I'm not going to lie. Although I did kind of vaporize this part of the circle, so that's going to need to be rebuilt. But the rebuilding can wait. We've got more demolition to do. This is pretty much the one reference point of the circle we have left, so let's make sure that doesn't get blown up. This whole thing's got to go. All this terrain needs to be level with this. It's my first day on the job as a member of the Anti-Hill Society, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Oh, 
we uh we, we blew up the reference point on the bright side we are almost done with this spot it should only take a little bit more till it's perfect should i stand here probably not but i'm gonna do it anyway yeah that looks good enough for me and with the big boy removed we only have these smaller hills here and here see ya then we can just go ahead and manually clean up the leftovers with our tools i think the area has been suitably prepared which means it's time to set up the tnt dupers we are going to need plenty of materials for these tnt dupers including slime observers and coral fans so let's go ahead and get those sorted let's grab ourselves a handy shulker box first of all we need about four and a half stacks of slime and all i have is 52 i know there's a slime chunk in my beacon mine somewhere yep there we go and i also need cobblestone for observers and pistons so while i mine i can also farm slimes my shulker with my other beacon is back at the end portal project so i'm just gonna borrow this one from the base thank you very much thankfully we have more than enough emeralds The beacon's all set up, so we're ready to get to work. It's only been a few minutes, and I already have a full shulker full of cobblestone, but there hasn't been a single slime. Let's put this back, and if we go check out the swamp, there might be some slimes in there. And it's immediately turning day, so there's nothing. I really didn't want it to come to this, but I know what I have to do. I've got to build an entire slime farm. Well, it's not winning any beauty contests, that's for sure. I followed this tutorial by Ilmango. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. Can you guys watch the farm for me while I'm gone? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go get some food. Bye. All right, I'm back. Let's see what we got. It actually worked. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I actually, I actually thought this was going to fail, to be completely honest. In all my time playing this game, I don't think I've ever had a mob farm work first try. So let's extend the storage with another chest, and let's get back to AFK. And now we have all the slime we could ever possibly need. I'm honestly still in disbelief that the farm actually worked. I was fully expecting for it to fail and for me to have to spend another hour fixing it. We have 28 observers, but we are going to need 120. Do we have any quartz to make more observers? We got three. So let's grab our fortune pick and let's get to work. I didn't realize the quartz was yours, bro. I'm sorry. Ow. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Yes. First try. Now let's craft up all those observers. And that is another material ticked off our list. The next thing we need are coral fans. And I know for a fact that I don't have any of those. I also have no idea where the nearest coral reef is. So I'm just going to have to fly out and hope I find one sooner rather than later. Oh my days, finally. This thing is actually massive, I'm not going to lie. Oh, you said this is your coral reef. Yeah, didn't ask. I mean, sure, it is beautiful, but was it worth the hour it took to get here? Aha! Ha <laughs> ha no. Right, well, time to destroy some nature. I collected 45 coral fans, which is more than enough, so let's head back home. Real quick, this puffer fish poisoned me earlier, but I thought I could return him to the ocean as an act of kindness. Oh no, my hand slipped. Now that we have all the coral fans sorted, we should have the rest of the materials for the TNT dupers in the storage system. Iron trap doors, check. Minecarts, check. Levers, check. We're also going to need some random general purpose blocks, and I think stone bricks will do quite nicely. We're also going to need some obsidian, and I mean... We're not exactly struggling for obsidian. We're also going to need a stack of repeaters, a whole bunch of pistons, which we're then going to turn into sticky pistons, some cobblestone wall, some detector rails, and I don't think I've ever made these before in my life, and last but definitely not least, some TNT. Okay, and there we have it. We have all the materials we're going to need to make 30 TNT dupers. I'll see you guys back at the project. Okay, that, that transition was smooth, right? right before we go any further though the circle needs fixing and this time we're going to build it at a consistent height we're also going to use obsidian so that the whole thing doesn't just get blown up by the dupers and now we have ourselves a lovely indestructible circle although before we set up these tnt dupers i'm going to take the beacon down i mean if i blew this thing up i don't know what i'd do probably just be very sad let's get the beacon stored safely away in the ender chest this is my first time ever making a tnt duper and here's where the coral fans come in i'm actually really curious as to what they do or like what their purpose is so someone smarter than me who's good at redstone please explain in the comments we need your guidance i kind of feel like mumbo jumbo right now i'm not gonna lie and at last my masterpiece is complete definitely didn't follow a youtube tutorial nope all my own design now that we have the first duper done we need to go ahead and make a return station for it otherwise it would just keep flying off into the unknown i really hope this works otherwise i'm either gonna have a runaway tnt machine or it's gonna blow up on impact and now it's time for the moment of truth i'm so nervous i'm actually so nervous so i think all we have to do is pull this lever and that's gonna send this machine off why am i why am i nervous about this go okay okay looking good so far it's working 
it's actually working. Of course, the real question is, will it actually stop here? Oh, it's, it's getting closer. Oh, hi, Creeper. Come on, please, 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 please. It worked. Okay, now how do I how do I make it go back? Wait, I think this is wrong. I don't think it should be like this. I just checked the tutorial and the returner is actually one block too low. Hopefully, it should be a fairly simple fix. Can you tell I'm not very good with redstone? Okay, there we go. Just that seemed to work. You should probably get out of here soon. Look at this trench we got going on. This is sick. We can't just have one duper though. It'll get lonely. So let's build some more. Yeah, no, this is really, this is really good, Minecraft. I love me some invisible blocks. Oh, there we go. And that is every single TNT duper done. This looks insane, I'm not gonna lie. But before we unleash mass destruction upon this innocent circle and this cow, we need to build the return stations. So let's get those built right now. Hopefully I lined that transition up right. It looks beautiful apart from this one duper which I built slightly too low. You know what, we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna try really hard to ignore it. Oh, it's, it's so annoying. But I'm too lazy to change it, so it's going to stay that way. I've seen this pig wandering around, and I really don't want to blow him up. I don't know, there's just something about him, I guess. He's actually just walked outside the circle by himself. That is some good survival instinct. No, don't go back in. Don't go back in. Stop. Stop. No. Bro, you're going to die. You're going to... Okay, come on. Go on, son. There we go. Right. <laughs> this head's just clipping through the block. Well, that's one animal saved. The rest, they're not going to be here much longer. Right, let's do this. Number one is functional. Number two, number three, number four. Already, just look at the destruction and the game's starting to break. Starting to think this might destroy my PC, but we move. Oh, no. <laughs> just taking the piece of dirt with it. All right. Okay, this this does not look good. I, I don't know what's going on, but this is not good. I tried turning up my render distance to make the machines work better and... Yeah, I've broken the game somehow. Oh, no, we fixed it. We've already had some malfunctions, which is not ideal. All the machines should be fixed now, but before we go any further, we need to go into these trenches and dry up all the water. Because, of course, if the TNT blows up in the water, it's not actually going to do any damage to the blocks. There's even some magma blocks here. I didn't even know they could spawn in caves. There's so much water down here. What is this? I'm getting Drain in the Ocean Monument vibes, and trust me, those are not good vibes. That is all dried up now, so let's go ahead and run the machines again. I'm nervous, I can't lie. Let's do this. So we've got two running at the moment and that seems to... Oh no. The game seems to be somewhat functioning with two dupers so let's go for a third we're still up and running with three do we dare to go for four and the answer to that is obviously yes there's water down there we're gonna have to go solve that i might get blown up i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah this is a horrible plan get rid of this get rid of this i can barely hear over all this tnt okay quick get the water get the water go away oh no 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 stop 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 i'm just kind of hiding I'm scared. If any TNT falls on me, it's basically game over. Need to get rid of this water. Come on. There's so much here. What is this? Okay, is it gone? I think it's going. Oh, this game does not function. Get me out of here. We've got four functioning so far. I think it's time we go for five. Wait, did I forget to put TNT in that? Oh, wait, I set it up wrong. Oh, my. While we wait for that one to come back so we can fix it, let's get rid of more of this water. I'm blown away by this, though. This is insane. I feel like I'm in a movie or something. Okay, getting a bit close now. Let's, uh, let's back it up. The noise of the TNT is going to be turned down for you guys guys, so your ears are going to be fine, but I am suffering. I am very much suffering. Look at the absolute size of this trench. Uh oh, we might actually be able to find some diamonds soon. Wait, hold on. We've dug out all this and we still got to go all the way down there. Anyway, let's go repair that flying machine. And now number five should be ready to go. Why is it still not working? Oh, it's missing a minecart. That's the other problem with it. Number five has once again returned. So let's play the really fun game called try and make an actually functioning flying machine. So this time we put the rail there and a minecart on top. Please work. This is going to be so embarrassing if it doesn't work for the third time. Yes. Okay, actually works nice you see this flat area down here that's where the tnt is falling but by the time it gets to the bottom it's already about to blow up so it can't actually destroy any more blocks which means later on we are going to have to move all the dupers and all the return stations down so that we can continue destroying the area down here but i think we've been on five machines long enough let's go up to six bye son have fun at school and you know seven's my lucky number so why not just go to seven while there are a few bugs like the machines appearing out of thin air for the most part the game seems 
seems to be stable for the most part. I want to go dry up all this water, but most of our sponges are now wet sponges, so we're going to need to go dry these out. The fastest way to dry out sponges is to place them in the nether, so let's go turn all these machines off and make a quick trip there. What is going on there? Overall, I'd say that run was a great success, and we only had one machine break down on us. It feels weird not hearing TNT blast every three seconds, though. I'm having a quick look for any diamonds, but I don't think we've gone far enough down to get them yet. Now, if we head down to the stronghold real quick, into the nether we go, and let's get these dried out. I kind of underestimated how much water there'd be. If I knew, I definitely would have brought more than just one stack of sponges. Don't tell me this whole cave is water. No. No, and all down here as well. There's a lot less of it, but lava could also be a problem. Draining this water cave is definitely going to take several years off my lifespan. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this with just my measly stack of sponges. We're going to need some backup. Right, trick shot time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, this is why I leave that kind of stuff to people who are actually good at the game. Let's dry out all these sponges while we're here, and then let's grab all the sponges we have available. You can't tell me this isn't satisfying, because it definitely is. Be gone, water cave. With the combined might of several hundred sponges, you're no match for me. Okay, I'm starting to think it might be a match for me. I'm in full netherite. What is your plan here? You know, we can talk about this, you know? We can arrange a meeting. We can... Uh, Okay, that cave is gone. All the water's gone. I actually thought there was going to be more, but thankfully, it was pretty forgiving. And now we can go back to causing widespread destruction. I'm also going to book a hospital appointment for my eardrums. No! Oh, that's bad. That explains why some of the machines aren't working. It's because the TNT gets caught on these leftover blocks here and then just blows up. It looks like the only thing that was broken here was some of the slime, which should be a fairly easy fix. Okay, there we go. It's back up and running. Looks like we got some water down here, so let's go clean that up. Have I made a mistake? Yes, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. The dupe is off that way. This is our chance. Okay, that should be all gone now. Look at all this destruction. This is mental. Here we go. Look, I can just fly along with the machine. This is kind of fun. There's a bunch of lava down here, which is definitely a problem. It's pretty annoying. The only thing we can really do is just spam blocks over it to dry it all up. Go away. I'm gonna take some cover behind here and pray we don't die. Luckily, the pool doesn't seem too deep, so it should be fairly easy to clean up. Ow. This is dangerous work. I could die here if I'm not careful. We're actually going to eat a golden apple just to make sure we're all okay. I could die here if I'm not careful. Oh my... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Two more seconds now. Would've, this, this world would have been over. My heart. My heart is going so fast right now. <laughs> oh, I, I nearly predicted my own death. Right, let's get another totem on. That was genuinely terrifying. This is what not paying attention gets you. A literal death certificate. At the very least, we did manage to get rid of all the lava, but oh, that was too close. That was way, way, way too close. It's incredible and incredibly annoying just how much water can come from just one water source. Oh no, we've got yet another water cave under here. Oh my days, pay more attention. Second totem in five minutes. Why am I stupid? It looks like all the TNT dupers are starting to reach their limit, so let's go ahead and switch them off. We've still got this huge strip of land in the middle, because I forgot to set this duper up properly. But apart from that, things have been going well. Everything's fine. We'll just ignore it. It was just the wind. This duper is starting to reach the bottom, but annoyingly, there's another water cave in the way, so we're gonna have to get rid of that. Oh, you guys are on fire. Well, if you come with me, you can find some water. Just kidding. Oh, sorry, the water's just, it's just all disappearing. I'm a... I'm a terrible person. Unfortunately, we also have this huge slab of obsidian to get rid of. And today's question is, which is more boring? Watching paint dry or mining obsidian? Ah, that- oh my- Is this karma for drying up all the water? We've made great progress, but as you can see, there's quite a few areas where there's these big lines of stone where the dupers haven't quite covered the whole area. I could just move all the dupers, but I've been building and fixing them so many times that I think I'm just going to go with the pickaxe to clean up all the stone instead. We're also going to run these guys for a little bit longer because this area isn't fully flattened out yet. And of course, once we've gotten rid of all the stone, we move on to phase two, which is deep slate. Oh, we gotta go. Elytra? Elytra? No, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I thought that was it. I thought I was gone. Oh, man. I thought I was gone. I thought I was gone. Oh. 
Genuinely, I'm not trying to do this just to make the video seem more exciting. I'm just a complete idiot. Heart attack aside, this area is fully flat now, which is great. Hasta la vista, dupers. The C- I got in Spanish is really paying off. If we're going to mine all of this out, we're going to need to get some beacons. So with the two we have here, we have six total beacons at our disposal. So I'm thinking for maximum coverage, we place one there, one there, one there and one there and then probably two here and here maybe and i guess the smart play would be to build them a little bit off the ground because obviously we don't need to get the effect down here we need to mine all up here We'll go with four beacons for now. I think they have enough range that we shouldn't need any more. This is going to take so long, isn't it? Oh, I just broke another right pickaxe. <sighs> Although, to be fair, it's not like we're exactly short on another right pickaxes. Sorry, guys, I can't play today. My mom said I have to be home by seven. <gasps> Diamonds! Finally! Our first diamonds! Please don't just be one. Please don't just be one. Please don't just be one. Better than nothing, I guess. You might be asking why I didn't just move the dupers and let them do all the work, and I'm asking the same thing. So I've been mining for about three hours now, and we've made some progress. This video is not coming out until 2023, is it? Well, back to stone mining, or as I like to call it, stone crying. I'm gonna shut up now. So we're about halfway through cleaning out this circle. And in that time, we have gone through three netherite pickaxes, four if you count the incident, as well as three whole elytra. Is it elytra? Elytras? I don't... I don't know the plural. I also only have seven golden carrots left. So I think the best plan is to head back home, get all the tools and gear repaired, as well as stock up on some food. While I'm here, actually, I'm going to move this portal to the roof of the nether. Objective number one, food. Now we should have more than enough. Next, let's craft ourselves some more rockets. Much better. And then let's go ahead and get the tools fixed up at the Enderman XP farm. So about you guys living long, happy, and healthy lives. Uh... Home sweet home or whole sweet hole. We got the food. We got the tools. So let's get all of this cleaned out. We're finally done. This is actually crazy. Now, even though this was all recorded with replay mod and you've seen the time lapse, just to prove that it's fully legit, if we go to items and times mined, I have mined a total of 222,000 stone. Obviously, I've mined stone in this world before this project, but overall, this whole thing probably takes up a pretty considerable amount of that total statistic. As you can see, we've still got a few of these little blocks floating around that haven't been fully cleaned up. So I'm going to do a magic trick. You ready? Bang. That definitely didn't take an entire hour. We're getting close to uncovering the end portal now, which is a nice feeling. But of course, if we're going to make this the best circle ever, we got to take it all the way down to bedrock. Real quick, actually, there's something I've got to show you guys. When people dig out huge holes like this, they usually show off a giant tower of ores they've mined. This is all I have. Can we edit this so it looks like I have way more? Yeah, okay, that's perfect, thanks. We gotta build a whole new set of dupers, and you know what that means. Action montage time! And that is all the dupers built. I do not want to go through that whole mining thing again, which is why I've built so many more this time. I love how four hours of work was condensed into about... 10 seconds. I wish I could say launching these TNT dupers went off without an issue, but there were definitely no. some issues. The ones that didn't self-destruct in two nanoseconds actually did work quite well. We also started to find loads more diamonds. I started repairing the broken dupers in preparation for the final push. And now all the dupers have been repaired. It only took me a few minutes. I'm joking, it took many 
many hours. Anyway, before we unleash a literal meteor strike on this area, let's go ahead and collect all the ores. I mean, just look how pathetic this is. We need to be richer. There is something wrong with this man's head because what is going on? Oh, hello. I think I've mined quite a lot of the diamonds already because I'm not really finding any. And just as I say that, I've instantly found some. Okay. Isn't there a saying that's like you attract what you're scared of? So, ah, diamonds, so scary. I hope any diamonds don't find me. Ah, is that diamonds? Ah, so scary. Ah, I actually received an Oscar last year for my acting skills. Yes, please. Wait, was there only one? Where are you? There you are. Wait, this is a great vein. Wait, how many diamonds even are there? Yo, future Mosey editing, let, let me know. I don't really care that much about redstone, so I'm not really sure why I'm still collecting it. And lapis, I don't need this. Why am I mining it? Guys, check this out. Bear in mind, this is a solid tower. There's over a stack of diamond ore up there. I feel a bit richer now. Good. And now it's finally time. Let's set all of these off and pray that they all actually work. You're right there, mate. You're the safety instructor, right? Keep an eye on these machines for me. Can you do that? No, no, stop running off. I'll fire him later. Don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, safety instructor. What are you doing? There was a creeper. Why? Like, why are there multiple creepers here? What? A third? Are you serious? You will not sabotage this fleet. Do you know how many hours I spent making this? Way too many. Go, Coke. Oh, this is insane. Oh my god. Oh, those frames are looking spicy. My PC is absolutely crying for mercy right now. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I must have put the TNT in the wrong spot. Yo, is this a long awaited 1.20 PowerPoint update? Imagine being a mob in this cave and you just walk out and see this. This one looks like it should be working. I don't know why it stopped. Nothing a redstone torch can't fix. I'm so glad the majority of these actually worked. I was expecting a colossal failure like the first time. Diamonds, absolutely they're worth dying for. This is definitely a sight to see. Wow. Look at this. We are walking on the bottom of the world. All this for an end portal, by the way. <laughs> so much blue, they call me blue man. <laughs> Iron. Ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, bro. It's, it's okay. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I need to find the safety instructor. He's not doing a very good job. Oh, this looks so annoying. How much is the... <laughs> I feel like some kind of doctor here, like, analyzing the patient. Hmm. What was the cause of breakage? No discernible injuries. A redstone torch should do the trick. Yo, look at this. Let's not look too long. I like having all my limbs. And oh my days. How much lava is there? Luckily, I brought plenty of sand along. I find it hilarious that not only did we picked the stronghold with a ridiculous amount of water caves around it we also picked the one that had a massive lava lake like the nether's through there mate i think you're in the wrong place this lava lake is actually a lot worse because there's so many source blocks. On the other one, while it looked like there was a lot of lava, a lot of it was just flowing from the sources and RIP that bat. Do you want to try out the sauna? Of course you do. Give it a go. How's the temperature, sir? 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 With all the lava removed, we can move on to stage two. All the dupers are up and running, so the next time- My game crashed. Oh no. That's bad. That is very bad. I really hope the world actually loads. Please don't tell me I've corrupted it. Okay, no, we're good. I think we're good. We're good. Very buggy, but I think it's working. Yeah, we're fine. It all loaded. I'm not gonna lie. I really thought my world was about to corrupt. Anyway, as I was saying, the next time I see you guys, this whole area will be cleared. POV. Your mum just sat down. <laughs> I thought of that joke when I started this project. I am so glad I finally got to say it. But nah, seriously, this is just insane. Take a look at the size of this thing. I cleaned up the rest of the lava, which was really fun. No stronghold, no enemies, no nothing. Just the portal. I feel so small down here. I've... This is just beyond anything I've ever done. Before we can call this project finished though, we need to get rid of all the return stations and TNT dupers, as well as the entire obsidian circle. Finally, we're finished. This took so long to break. Already, it just looks a lot nicer with all that extra rubbish gone. Let's also go ahead and remove these partially destroyed trees. There's quite a few of them around here. Look what happened to this birch tree. I mean, it's birch wood. It deserved this. And this one, <laughs> it's, got, it's got a leaf and a branch. We've also got some wood planks from that very first circle we made. Wait, hold on. I just heard a- I just heard an oink. It's the pig. It's- it's, uh, it's- it's Percival. Yeah, Percival. You're free. You survived. You're welcome. Look at that. He's so happy. He's walking away. Why are you leaving me, Percival? Percival, please. 
We're friends. I think he's <laughs> he's just gone to hide now. He's like, nope, you've seen this. He's just had a crisis. Part of me wants to put grass on this terrain here to kind of tidy it up a bit, but I don't know. I think I kind of like how sort of just messy and destroyed it all looks. Let me know what you think in the comments. And at last, we can mine all this down. Let's just chuck all our blocks in here for now. Clear the inventory. Let's get out the good old fortune pickaxe. I've been waiting so long to do this. I ended up getting nearly five stacks of diamonds. I can make it rain. Look at this. This is great. Always wanted to do this. I also got all the ores in my inventory, as well as the ones you see in this shulker. Now, of course, when you do something cool in Minecraft, you gotta show people. And I have the perfect group in mind. What have you done? Fair play. That is insane. No way. Okay, I see you. Eh, it's all right. Shut up. It's amazing. Subscribe.